Hello and welcome to your Baseball Minute with Jesus Jimenez. I'm Jesus Jimenez. Today we're talking about credibility. This week, Randy Galloway of ESPN Radio 103.3 FM and columnist for the Fort Worth Star-Telegram lost whatever credibility he had. He wrote a column talking about who is to blame for the Rangers' poor performance as of recently. In that column, he blames John Daniels, and he says that the Rangers should fire John Daniels. Wait. Randy Galloway, you think the Rangers should fire the man who became the youngest general manager in the history of Major League Baseball at the age of 28? The man who, since he became GM, the Rangers have gone to -to back-to-back World Series, made playoff appearances three years in a row, and are going for four years in a row? The man who has helped build a massively impressive farm system? The man who, since his first full season as general manager in 2005, the Rangers have not had a losing season since 2008? Do you think he should be fired? Why? Because John Daniels didn't make any big deals over the winter? Or because Matt Garza isn't doing that great? Or because Alex Rios is playing like Alex Rios, even though John Daniels was a genius for waiting until after the trade deadline to get him? This little call even got the attention of national baseball writers, such as that of John Heyman of CBS Sports, who tweeted, Columnist Randy Galloway called today for Texas GM Daniels to be fired. He wasn't kidding. Sad RG still has a keyboard slash form. John Heyman even went on to say that perhaps there's a personal reason behind Galloway's column. Whether or not that's true, I don't know. What I do know is for certain, though, is that Galloway's column is absolutely absurd and that it has little to no validity behind it. Go home, Randy Galloway. You're drunk. I'm Jesus Jimenez. Follow me on Twitter. I'll have videos like this weekly. Thanks for watching. This has been...